In this demonstration, you will see how the Medilogus Clinical Physician Support System interacts with a telemedicine application to allow the specialized clinician to manage and control chronic patients, CHF patients who are on the Fusid medication. In the demonstration, we start off by showing you the patient portal from the Medic for All telemedicine system. As you can see, the recent measurements are A, graphed here in the bottom of the screen, and on top we have the actual measurements. We are now measuring the patient, and in real time, the patient data will be transmitted, as you can see, straight into the system. Once we have the updated patient data, we will now move to the clinician portal. The clinician opens up the clinician portal. As we can see here on the left-hand side, the patient data is represented, and as we can see, this is a FUSID patient, thereby alerting the clinician that this patient will be dealt with by the FUSID guideline. The clinician moves to the right-hand side, and by clicking on the correct icon, we can see the latest transmitted data, which we just saw inside the patient portal. From here, given that this is a FUSID patient, the clinician will be moving to medical treatment in order to invoke the FUSID guideline. The clinician now moves to the screen for the actual implementation of the FUSID guideline as per the Metalogo system. As we can see here, the recent transmitted data from the patient appears on the left-hand side, including the weight which we have just seen transmitted. The patient status is green, which according to the system means that the patient is stable. Before we continue on to the consulting session, we wish to demonstrate for you how our graphical system represents the data in its medical concept state. Our visualization system has the ability to convert raw medical data into the correct medical concept. As we can see here, we have converted BMI into the medical concepts relevant to the clinicians and our patient as you can see here from the data is in a healthy state as per the relevant medical concept. We are now moving back to the consulting session. By clicking on the consulting button up pops the conversation summary which the clinician will now be going through the patient. The patient is now answering the clinician's questions and as we can see our patient is stable and has none of the relevant uh, FUSID problems. The system will now show the system evaluation and the system evaluation brings up the assessment of the patient and will lead to the system recommendations. All of the data of course here is stored inside the relevant database. The system of recommendations for the green status patient is as you can see here on the right hand side giving the same FUSI doshids, following up, and we finish the call. See with the rest of the application of the FUSI guideline. This is triggered when new data is being entered into the system. As I have just clicked on the weight icon, we can see that a new weight data has measurement has just been entered into the system. This will, of course, affect the FUSI guideline. The clinician screen that has just been opened up shows that A, the correct warning to the clinician has been transmitted to the clinician and as you have just heard the beep of the SMS to a mobile phone the patient also receives the same information this is in order to warn the patient that there's a worsening in his own condition asking him to contact the contact the call center immediately we will now show you how this is how this is shown inside the graphical system as we can see from our system, by clicking on the relevant data, we can see that the information that has just been received clearly shows to the cl clinician that the state of the patient has been changed, as the BMI state has moved the patient from the healthy uh, state to the overweight state based on his new data. This will, of course, affect the guideline, as we will now show you. Now, based on the patient's new data, we will start now a new consulting session. This will bring up the conversation summary, whereby the interaction of the clinician with the patient will result in the new data being entered. As we can see here, the patient's medical condition has changed, 
And as a result, of course, this will invoke a new clinical pathway within the FUSID guideline. As we can now see, the patient's status is red, emergency state, because he has met the condition of the medical guideline where sweating and shortness of breath and lung edema is all true. We will now proceed to the system recommendations as we guide the clinician through the individual steps of the guideline, making sure, of course, that no step is overlooked. We have now a new recommendations for the guideline with new medication and, of course, new medical procedures that have to be taken immediately in order to stabilize the patient. This, our system therefore ensures that A, the medical guideline will be followed completely, and B, that there can be no errors of commission when dealing with a FUSID patient whose condition has taken a turn for the worse. Once the call is finished, we have now completed all of our relevant uh, FUSID guideline.